your God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Chapter 8. What is Reality? Chapter Review. A reality is a personal experience that contains certain limitations as well as certain abilities. Reality is not a shared experience, but instead an individual experience that may or may not have similarities to others. Realities are created by awareness and beliefs. Higher consciousness can be thought of as a broader understanding. Different levels of consciousness are not just different viewpoints, but they also denote the levels at which you can create meaning and affect your world. Knowing is the strongest level of understanding. This is a position that cannot be challenged. I know that the sun will rise tomorrow is a statement of knowing. Knowing is the foundation of your reality. Knowing requires little support and maintenance because it is seldom challenged. Belief is tentative knowing. It is a strong confidence. It is second best to knowing. Beliefs may require periodic validations to maintain them. Beliefs and definitions are created in four ways. By instinct, where you were born with them. By assertion, where you are told them, by example, where you witness them, and by experience, where you have experienced them. Perception is awareness plus meaning. Chapter 8. What is reality? Chapter quiz. Okay, question number one. We share our A. reality with who? The human race. B. The animal kingdom. C, the universe, or D, no one. Okay, what is it? The answer is D. We share our reality with no one. Reality is a personal creation. We think that we share it with others because our realities are similar to others. We see the same things. We experience the same things. But we're experiencing them from within our own reality. We are both in the movie theater looking at the same movie. We both have that same experience in our individual realities, but still we're not in the same reality. We are having similar realities, but they're not the shared reality. They're not the same reality being shared. That might be thought of like a, a drive-in theater. You're out there watching the movie, and you're in your car watching the movie, and somebody else is at the same theater in their car watching the same movie, but you're not sharing the same car. You're having the same experience. You're watching the same movie. You're in the same place, but you each are having your own individual reality, which happens to have that part similar, not shared, but similar. Okay. Question number two. Realities A, are created parents, by B, your personal beliefs, C, instinct, D, all. Well, that's kind of a tricky question. But the answer is all. You might, you might go for personal beliefs, because that is absolutely true. Realities are created by personal beliefs, but instinct is part of your personal beliefs. And the things that your parents have told you when you were growing up 
have influenced your beliefs. Your parents don't create your reality, but from the things that they taught you growing up, they have helped create the reality that you have. But your reality is your own personal creation. The most powerful answer to this is B. But for the quiz, for, for the general understanding of it, the answer is D, because it is from instinct, it is your personal beliefs, and it is from the beliefs you learned from your parents. Other than the beliefs you hold that are a result of your parents, your parents cannot influence your reality. They cannot, unless they teach you something, or get you to believe something, and when they do, then your reality has been altered. But you are in total control of your own reality. Okay, question number three. Thinking at a higher level of consciousness allows you to what? A. See the bigger picture. B. Create more powerful meanings. C. Have more control over your experience. Or D. All. Of course, the answer is D. A higher level of consciousness allows you to see the bigger picture, to understand how it all works. And B, it allows you to create more powerful meanings. If you understand that you have domain over your body and you can create illness or heal illness by a thought, then you can create more powerful meanings. You can say, I'm healed and you are. But if you don't have that higher level of understanding, if you don't have that higher consciousness, you can't do it. You can sit there and say, I'm healed, but because you don't have that understanding and because you don't have that awareness, you don't believe it. And so saying it is going to mean nothing for you. You can't use that meaning. It's not in your tool bag. You don't have the awareness and the beliefs to support that meaning. So yes, at a higher level of consciousness, you can create more powerful meanings. And C, have more control over your experience? Absolutely. The higher the level of your consciousness, the higher your level of understanding of how things work, the more powerful you become and the more control you have over your experience. Okay. Question number four. Your beliefs can be created by... A. Personal experience... B, the opinions of another, or C, personal observations, or C, personal, or D, all. Well, it says can be created. Your beliefs can be created. They can be created by personal experience. Absolutely. They can be created by the opinions of another. If you listen to them. If you take their opinions to heart, it's going to affect your beliefs. They can be created by personal observations. So the answer is D. All. They can be created by personal experience. They can be created by observations. They can be created by the opinions of another. Okay. Question number five. Realities define what? A. What you can do. B. What you are aware of. C. What you can't do. Or D. All. The answer is D. Your reality defines what you can do. A. And it defines what you can't do. C. I can't do that. I don't have the ability to do that. So as a result, the reality is you can't do it. So yeah, they are the boundaries of what you can do and can't do. And they also dictate what you're aware of. Because you are aware of what is within the parameters of your reality. If there's something going on that your reality doesn't cover, you're not aware of it. 
you don't see it. You won't be there when it happens. You won't hear about it. It is outside your reality, so you will not become aware of it. You can't become aware of it. So yes, realities do define what your boundaries of awareness are also. So the answer is D. That was the end of chapter number 8. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, chapter number 9, the first segment, number 1. Let your quest for knowing continue.